Come on with it, YouTube. Fight fans all over the world. It's your boy, The Real Stuff, The Real. Yes, sir, I said it. Real Talk Boxing. It is a privilege and honor and a major blessing to be back with all you beautiful people yet again. Shakur Stevenson. Will this kid take over the 135-pound division? Will he? A lot of people think so. A lot of people think... A lot of people think he's going to kick the front door straight open, man, and go straight for the top elite in the lightweight division. And just run through them. What do I think? I don't know. I don't. I don't have a clue. I mean, is it possible? Yeah, it's possible. With time, I think it's possible. See, first off, let's get this out of the way. I think Shakur Stevenson is a grand young fighter. I think the kid can fight. I think he has a lot of potential. He's already become a world champion. I mean, he shows a lot of promise at coming to the 135-pound division and beating some of the top guys. Yeah, I mean, very possible. I think his ring IQ is very good. I think he has ring generalship. I think he has great counterpunch ability. I think his defense is really good. Um, he has power. He has speed. You know, he has youth on his side. But when we're talking about the 135-pound division, the top tier, we're talking about Loma. We're talking about Devin Haney. Because, in my opinion, those are the best two light heavy, uh, excuse me, lightweights out there. Loma, Devin Haney. Okay? Now, do I think he can beat some other fighters in the lightweight division? Of course. Of course. But here's the thing, though. Here's the thing. I'm a Shakur Stevenson fan. At first, I didn't have a lot of belief in him like other people did. I slept on him a little bit. But the kid can fight. He can box. He can box. All right? You know, he showed that against Valdez, against Consencial. I think the mistakes he made with Consencial is I think he underestimated him a little bit. And he was looking for the knockout. You can't look for the knockout. You got you to let it happen. Because if you're looking for it and you want it that bad, nine times out of ten, it's not going to happen. It is what it is, but he won the fight convincingly, all right? No hate. But there are some things about Stevenson that kind of worries me coming into the lightweight division. He has an arsenal, no doubt, but there's not many angles. Correct me if I'm wrong. There's not many angles. I think he, he needs to use more angles. I mean, if you really look at him and watch him fight, everything's right here. Not to say that his head's on center line, but he fights right on the center line. Right on the center line. You hardly ever see any pivots, any angles, none of that. Yeah, you see a lot of catch and returns, a lot of slips, a lot of up and unders. You know, slipping the jab and then coming over the jab. You see all that. And he's, he's impeccable at it. He really is. And he has movement, but it's very subtle. He moves out of the way just enough for you to miss that jab, for you to miss that cross. He moves where he, he needs to be very subtly. Not a wide margin. His movement is very subtle. So I think as soon as he fights a fighter with a buttload of movement and with power and speed, I think that type of fighter will give Shakur Stevenson fits. Lomachenko. Devin Haney. Those are the only two in the lightweight division who I think he will not beat. Not just jumping right in. I think it'll be a mistake for his team to throw him in the fire right off the bat against those two fighters. You coming into the lightweight division, first off, the mega fighters, him and Tank, him and Ryan. But I would like to see you, meaning Shakur Stevenson, against Pitbull Cruz. I think that would be a nice baptism into the lightweight division. Because although I think he will beat Cruz, Cruz is going to stand right there in front of him because that's what Cruz does. There's not a lot of pivot and a lot of movement. 
Cruz has one thing in mind and one thing only to knock the teeth straight down your throat. And I think he'll be a sitting duck for Shakur Stevenson. But he better not sleep on people or Cruz. You know what I'm saying? He better not sleep on him. But I think there will be a great first fight introducing him into the 135-pound division. Devin Haney, I, I believe, is too slick, too fast, too, got too much ring savvy, ring generalship for him. And I think the same thing about Loma. Plus, Loma has power. Yeah, he lost against Tiffany Lopez. Bad day in the office. And we have yet to see him in the ring yet again. But I believe the Loma will become champion again. I don't know about undisputed. I don't know about unified. But I think he's going to hold one of those belts. Because nowadays these belts don't get held long. But Devin Haney, I think he's going to go in and beat Cambosis again. Even more convincingly. And after that, he's going to be a problem for everybody. I think him and Loma should fight. And then after Shakur Stevenson has gotten his feet wet in the lightweight division, maybe facing the winner of that. Then again, maybe not. How about Cruz first? Ryan Garcia next because it's more li it likely that he would fight Ryan before Tank. Because Tank, they ain't trying to fight nobody who's going to be a threat to him anyway. Tank fans, get mad at me if you want. Tank ain't fought nobody. I'm sorry. It is what it is. He has all the potential in the world to be great. But who has he fought? Uh, nobody. Ryan Sia has more accomplishment, ac accomplishments on his record than Tank Davis. Don't get mad at me. It's just factual. Don't get mad. Just go look at the fights. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, I ain't a huge Ryan Garcia fan. I just got to tell the truth. I'm not biased. Just tell the truth. But does Shakur Stevenson have a chance at Taking over the 135-pound division, yes, with the right moves and with time. But jumping right in with them killers, I think it would be a bad mistake. But the kid can fight. I'm a fan, and this kid is very, very talented. What do you think, man? Comment down below. Let your boy Real Talk know, as always, respect all. Fear none. God bless. Until next time, Real Talk Boxing, I'm up and I'm out of here, baby. Bye,